The Global Search for Sustainable Schools project in South Africa is implemented by the African Conservation Trust. We support 25 schools that are committed to better environmental learning and management with practical in-classroom lessons around different sustainability issues. We can stop climate change by protecting animals and nature. In nature like trees, they, they, they trap carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is bad to our climate. We, we can stop burning coal in factories and we can eat less meat. Some of the action projects we have supported schools with include developing permaculture gardens, learning about the value of ecosystems and the services they give us, and protecting and looking after our rivers using simple citizen science tools, rehabilitating natural areas and encouraging biodiversity back into our school grounds. Raising our voices is also important, as is looking at waste management and how we can reduce our consumption. The COVID pandemic raised a number of issues, especially those linked with water, as many schools do not have access to clean water. We offered them alternatives for keeping hands clean and set up Tippy Taps, a cost-effective and water-saving way to keep hands clean. Besides, water could never be more important as we experienced more drought due to climate change. Learners were tasked with working out how much water is saved using a tippy tap versus washing hands under a running tap and were astounded to find out that it could save 40 times more water. The tippy tap that was installed by GSS also, it helped us also in, because now we know that now is COVID-19, most of the thing we have to wash hands, but now we have to look after the saving of water, that's very important. So the GSS company installed the tippy taps that help us just wash hands without wasting a lot of water. Teachers requested workshops on the COVID-19 virus. Our role was to help them sift the facts from the fiction and put the impact of the virus in perspective when one compares it with other global lifestyle diseases like diabetes and the more sinister impacts of the climate crisis. Importantly, we wanted teachers to see the connections between our relationship with the environment and how our actions are contributing to the many global health epidemics we see today. We also offered a workshop on healthy eating and the planet this provided an opportunity to support SDG 12 in explaining how our food choices have everything to do with the climate crisis. Teachers were really inspired to learn that a plant-based diet is better for our health and immune systems and also for the planet too. The pandemic also had other impacts. Over 9 million children in South Africa depend on daily school meals. With lockdown, this ceased and this health issue soon became a hunger issue. In response, the GSS project has supported some of our schools in getting their food gardens prepared and planted. We are also delighted that six of our seven top schools have completed some really interesting upscale projects during this time, which include fuel-efficient wood-burning stoves, vegetable tunnels for reliable vegetable production, a solar geyser has been installed, a free-range egg supply project has been initiated, and an indigenous biodiversity garden, as well as a recycling center have been set up. The problem is that nobody taught us, we're not aware that the global warming will be upon us and it's really upon us and it's hitting us so hard. We hope that when they, they are understand it, then they uh, take it back to their homes and then the whole community will understand and find solutions. Uh, thank you, GSS project leaders, for coming over and doing some practical stuff with us. Forward with saving water, forward. Forward with eliminating climate crisis, forward.